somebody else moves up on that high ground, you've got to go the other side. Look at the base of that behind it. Looks like a central anti tank on the left. Looks like a tree stump. To make combined arms work, we need to train, and we need to train together and train effectively. In the same way as going to the gym, you get stronger by sets and repetitions. It's exactly the same for combined arms manoeuvre. By training constantly together, under pressure, then we can increase our capability and our war fighting ability. NATO is fundamentally an alliance. Having the French subunit operating within the first few of these battle groups allows us to build that alliance from the bottom up, so we understand each and every part of the battle group, each of our capabilities, and we get over some of the human, some of the procedural challenges there are when you operate alongside different nations. If you're armoured like we, like we are, the infantry fighting vehicles, the tanks, it just brings so much more firepower to the, um, to the battlefield and uh, then we can practice how to, how to use it and I think it's important if you want to actually impose your will on the enemy, you have to have firepower. I think what we are seeing today in the modern battlefield is that the trenches have not disappeared anywhere. They're still there, they're still valid. If you want to protect yourself, you kind of have to dig in. And it, uh, it creates an opportunity to shape the terrain so you can actually use it in your advantages and maneuver like you want to do it. And of course, then you are more protected in the trench and environment. It's, um, it's always nice to see what other people are doing in their militaries to kind of learn from them and uh, give also them some new uh, new ideas 
how probably to do stuff. And in the end, we would all just, uh, how to say, uh, meet in the middle. And through that, we just enhance cooperation and mutual understanding. So we would be more effective uh, on task in the future.